In this video, we're gonna do part two of our custom WordPress search. So in the first video, we built a form that submits to the search.php page, which is the default for WordPress. And in this video, we're gonna go more in depth of how to display those results those results on the search.php page and how to start manipulating those results. And then in the third video, we're going to build an algorithm for that search to make it even better. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that now and like this video and let's get started. All right, so here on the ideapro.io site, we have our search form that we built in the first video and that's here. And we just put that in the header.php of our site. And now we've built this search.php and we put an H1 in here for search results. And I'll show you again how that works really quick. So we're on the default, uh, the root or homepage of ideapro.io. And we're gonna search for wall unit. And that takes us to the search results page. And up here in the URL, it puts question mark S is equal to wall plus unit. Okay, so that's the default WordPress um, functionality. And most themes are built with that. All right, so now we're gonna start, we're gonna pull the results and use them how we want to. WordPress by default will give you the search results if you don't build a search.php page, but and most themes come with a search.php page, but you can overwrite that by using a child theme and creating a search.php page in that child theme, or if you're doing your own custom theme, you can create a search.php page in it, all right? So the three different types of results that we wanna pull are products, pages, and posts. And we talked about that in the first, ep in the first video, where we have products here, we've got pages, and we've got posts, and we've just got some random stuff. Now by default, WordPress will pull any post types and will pull any custom post types if search is turned on in that code of that custom post type, which for products, we have that turned on. Now, I don't like that it mixes the search results up a little bit, um, by the different types, post types. So we're gonna do our own little search results here and, and build kind of an algorithm a little bit on the third video of, and manipulate those results. All right, so we're gonna open a PHP tag and the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna get our term, which is the, the get s, which is the name of our input field um, here on the form. It is really hot today. Thank you, Phoenix. So um, our name of our field is S, which is what everything, the default kind of is WordPress. So we're going to get that S and then we're going to explode it. So we're going to explode the term. And we're going to use a function called explode and we're gonna explode it by a space. So there's some term. And that's what this first attribute is, is a, we're gonna explode it by a space here. And then the term here is our get s, all right? So now if we print out this, print the array exp term, because that's what the explode does is it puts the, um, the term in an array separated by the space. So if we explode that, come over here and look. And so now we've searched for wall unit and it's going to put wall and unit in an array with different keys. These are gonna be important to us in a few minutes. All right, so I'm gonna get rid of that. So now what we wanna do is we wanna say for each and right above this, we're gonna do search is equal to and we're gonna do an open parentheses. Down here, we're gonna do search dot equals, 
We're actually going to use double quotes on these. Doesn't matter if you use single or double, and I can explain that in another video. We're going to use double to keep it uniform. All right. So search here is a we're, we've created a variable called search, and we've opened a parentheses inside of that string. Now this one here is a search, and it extends the search string. So that dot equals means it's going to add it to this search term. So it's the same thing if we said search is equal to like that. So we're just extending that string with this here. And we're doing it like this because in the middle here, we're gonna add some um, search queries for our database, all right? So for each exp term, explode term as E key, E value, all right? And what that does is it's exploding the term in each one of these. So it's gonna separate wall and unit in the for each. And the EK, which is, you can use anything you want as these here. I'm using EK, which is the um, EXP term key and the EXP value. Now the term key is these here and the values are these here. So if we print each value, let's do it that way, uh, dollar sign each value, and we do a break here. See, we've printed wall and then we printed unit, okay? So now we're going to combine those to build a search query, All right? So we're gonna say, actually before we do that, we need to do this. You say if ek is equal to zero, else, okay. So the reason why we're doing that is we're gonna have two different strings here. And we're doing this because we may have 10 words that have been searched. So we're gonna do post title equal to EV, and before this, we're gonna put a parentheses, a parentheses, I'm sorry, a percent and a percent behind it. So basically what this is saying is, we wanna look for any post title, not equal, like percent EV, percent close, close bracket there, whatever you wanna call it. My mind is lost for some reason. Okay, so we're gonna say post title like EV. And then on this one, we're gonna say search equals, come on, post title like, but before this, we're gonna say or post title like, dollar sign EV, percent, percent. And what this percent in, in front of it and behind it does is it says, for instance, the, the term wall, the word wall, any post title that has the word wall in it, even if it's a seawall, S-E-A-W-A-L-L, -A -L -L, it would still pick up seawall as wall because the percent sign makes up for the SEA. So it's a wild card for the uh, any characters before or any characters after that. So now what we have, and we'll print this out. Let's print it so we can show you what it looks like. So print search, just like that. And so now if we hit refresh, so we're gonna, we got open parentheses and a close parentheses here. Post like, post title like wall or post title like unit. If we add more here, my keys, whatever, I don't know. So now it gets even farther. Post like wall, post title like unit, um, post title like my or post title like keys. So basically we're building a search query for uh, the database. All right. 
So now we're going to query and we're going to use the WordPress DB get results. Now what this is is WordPress DB is an object of the WordPress database. And get results is a method inside of that object which queries the database. Now you can use get results for a lot of things. I've used it to insert, delete, select. It, it does it does a lot. So now we're going to build additional parts to the query here. So we're going to say select star from and then we're going to do double quotes and we're going to call the WordPress DB again prefix posts. So what this does is the WordPress database object and then prefix asks what the database prefix is. By default, your database will be WP underscore posts. But if you change that in the setup, you could have changed it to all kinds of stuff. Um, some hosting companies automatically change it and it might be Q84259 underscore posts. They do that for security reasons. So what this will do is it will say, I don't care what the prefix is, we're gonna get it and then we're gonna pull the data from posts. All right, so, and then we can add here where post status equals publish. And what that's gonna do is it's going to get any post uh, pages or products that are in the publish state. So if they were draft, it's not gonna pull that. It's not gonna pull any that are in the trash. All right, so post where post status is equal to publish and search. So what this is saying is now we have select star from posts where post status is equal to publish and search, which that search is our parentheses up here. So now we can come over here and we can print out the results, query, and we go back here, and we do a search for wall unit, and hit search. Now it's going to return the posts, pages, and all that stuff that um, have the post title, either wall or unit in it. All right, so then we can come down and create a for each to loop through each one of those. All right, so we're gonna say for each query as query key and query value. So here we can say print query value is going to be anything inside of this object, this WordPress object. Now, if you're unfamiliar with objects and you don't know how to pull it, basically, this arrow is the object and then the item inside the object. So if we want the title, this is the post title, we would say QV, which is this up here, and post title. So if we just do that, it's gonna give us the title of each post that was returned, all right? But what we're going to do is we're going to give it a little bit of a style. Let's we're going to close the PHP tags here. All right, H2, whoops, H2. So QV post title. Okay. So now for each title that's returned, we have a um, h2 now if we used h2 up here which we didn't we could use an h3 here um, subtitles usually are you know h2s but you could use h3s if it's the same size or something so here we're going to do h3s and then underneath this we want to put in the 
the content of that post. So print QV, whoops. Post content. Now, what we're gonna notice, and we're putting this in a paragraph tag, is now we have a lot of text coming out. And we want to um, make that so that it doesn't look so bad. So what we're gonna do is there is a function, WordPress function, Word, what, WP underscore trim underscore words. And by default, this function cuts down the words to 50. So here's, or actually 55, I'm sorry. So here's the default where it cuts it down. Now these pages and these products don't have any content in there. So it's only gonna return the content of, of stuff that has it in there. Now we can do a, another attribute here and tell it 40 words. And see how it's now a little bit shorter. Now, by default, WordPress puts in three dots. But then you can put in another attribute here and tell it what you want it to do. So we're going to say continue reading. And before that, we're going to put dot, dot, dot. And then we're going to put an href here. All right. So continue reading. And now we want to get the permalink for this post. So we're going to say link is equal to get permalink dollar sign QV ID. And what we're doing is we're pulling the ID from that post. So now this link, we can link here our H3. Whoops. There we go. href. print dollar sign link and then we can do that same thing down here link so now what happens is is now we've trimmed the words and when we refresh now we have this is linkable and this is linkable to that actual um, post or page that we're that we're linking to all right, so that's how to return the results. In the next video, we'll start talking about how to separate each of those into their own types and how to display those and even how to start building an algorithm so you get the best result at the top compared to what they've searched for. If you like this video, hit the uh, like button. Remember to subscribe and then look for the next video where we're gonna do some more with this and if you didn't watch the first video, you might want to go back to it. Thanks.